Hey, James, I've, I've been asking everybody the same question. During this six-game winning streak, five wins during the West Coast road trip, this never happened in franchise history. What are you most proud of in terms of the way that you guys have been playing out there? Um, the most I'm proud of is our mindset uh, every game and every possession. Uh, you know, we don't take our opponent lightly at all. No matter who, we, who we're playing, it's the same, you know, goal is the same mindset and let's go out there and help each other out defensively offensively take your shots when you're open and, and then you know when you're not be unselfish and, um it's contagious on both ends of the floor as you can see so uh, we're still growing and but but this is a really good road trip for us and now we get an opportunity to go back home and um and keep playing that same brand of basketball it's in your short amount of time with the nets how, how have you seen the growth in mental and physical toughness out there on the floor uh, night and day, you know, from from when I first got here, um, and it's we're playing hard now, and we're playing smart. Like we we we've had time to practice, we've had time to to go over things on both ends of the ball. So, um, and that's why we're playing better. You know, we we we're no, we know each other a little bit bit better. Um, you know, we know what we're doing defensively, offensively. We know what we're doing. We know our spots on the floor, and it just makes the game a lot easier. Alex Schiffer with the Athletic. Hey, James, during this road trip, you guys have won games with, with different guys in the lineup. You know, Golden State, you know, it was you, Kyrie, and Kevin. Phoenix game was different. Tonight was different. Like, what does it say about you guys' versatility that you guys have a different combination of guys step up every night and, and still get the same result? Uh, that's, what, that's what we're going to need for longevity. Um, it's going to be different guys that impact games, you know, for, for the regular season and for the postseason. And we want to build confidence. We want, these, we want everybody playing well and know what they're doing on the court and, you know, give credit to, you know, each and every individual player um, because we, we, we focus and we watch film and we understand what's going on and what they're, what the opposing team is trying to do. So when guys check in the game, um, when our bench check in the game, we know what we're doing and there's no let ups and that's key to games, you know, instead of um, coming in and making mental mistakes and, you know, mistakes where you give teams confidence to get back in the game, our guys are locked in on both ends of the ball and, um, you know, you know, we're, we're playing smart. We're not turning the basketball over. We're helping each other rebound. And um, that's the key to our success. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, James. Um, I'm hoping we can go off the court for a minute um, and look at, you know, your former team. You, pl you played in Houston for a long time. What's happening in Texas right now is is pretty devastating for a lot of people. And I know you, you've you donated some, some food and have been in touch with folks this week. Um, what's your vantage point? You know, are you talking to folks down there? Uh, what made you want to kind of get involved from a food preparation standpoint with with their power outages and everything that's going on in Texas right now? I'm on phone calls literally every day, um, all day, trying to impact the city um, because they've shown me so much love and respect um, in the time that I, that I was there. So I, I call, you know, Houston home. Um, it's devastating, obviously. You know, this is probably um, worse than a hurricane just because we don't know how many people are affected, um, you know, not having electricity, not having power, <clears throat> and isn't able to eat or, you know, be outside or, or whatever the case may be. So... I'm not only full, obviously I have a restaurant in Houston that isn't open yet, but not only full, where we try to get, you know, feed as many people as we can. Um, I'm, you know, a lot of water, um, you know, and shout out to Body Armor who's helping me with that. Um, but they're, we're getting a lot of water shipped in this week, um, you know, for, for people, um, which, I'll, which I'll be posting. And then uh, as far as like, you know, plumbing, you know, I've reached out and, and I'm, in, I'm in contact with some plumbing companies that are, you know, have been for these last few days, you know, taking care of seven, eight houses a day, um, you know, patching up these, 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 uh, these pipes, because, you know, once the electricity got, came back on, um, pipes started to, to, to burst. And we've seen so many cases of that in Houston that um, I've been in contact with, you know, the mayor, uh, Mayor Turner, um, the relief gang, um, um, and just so many people that I've known that are able to help while I'm out there. And, you know, obviously this is a huge problem, but I try to, you know, impact it and help as much as I can while I'm out there. So, and I'll continue that, like, it, it won't stop because there's so many people that's been affected that, uh, you know, I can't stop. Thank you. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, James, um, <clears throat> just, is there a certain sense or, or feeling about the team right now, knowing that they've been, that you guys have been able to win all these games in a row, 
but you're for all intents and purposes, your best player has been out, right? Like Kevin has been out for five of these six wins that you guys have had. Is, is there any sense that it's like, well, there's still another level that you guys can reach because you've got a, a, another 30, 35 points that's just sitting there waiting to be. Yeah, able to play? yeah of course. Um, which even when Kevin gets back, it's not going to be easy. You know, we still have to play elite uh, defense and offense. So it's not going to be easy. Obviously, it helps a lot. You know, but but for like I said, our mindset, no matter who's who's in the lineup, who's not, it's the same mindset every single game. And we can't wait till he gets back. Um, and obviously, we don't want to rush that because there's a bigger picture. But, um, you know, we just take one game at a time. And, and whenever he decides that he's ready and he's healthy, then uh, he's going to reinsert right in the lineup and we're going to keep this train going. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, James. Uh, Kyrie, was referring, Kyrie was referring to uh, how you guys had played, I guess, going into that Detroit game on some stretches against losing teams. And in that Detroit game said it was kind of embarrassing the way you guys had lost some of those games. Mm -hmm. uh, was that, do you agree with that assessment? Was that the kind of thing that you guys discussed in there? And did that kind of, the seeds for what you guys are doing now, were they planted kind of after that Detroit game? We have a lot of frustrating losses, and uh, we don't we don't want we don't want that to haunt us in the in the, in the end of the season. So we decided to, as a team, collectively um, pick it up each individual. And once you pick your effort up and you pick your um, you know your mindset up in a sense of I'm going to go out there and play well and play hard for my teammates. Uh, good things start to happen for you individually. And so obviously the schemes and the, the play calls offensively, defensively, you know, we continue to watch film, continue to get better. But individually as, you know, a basketball player, you have to have the mindset, especially with your role, you know, be the best you can be in your role. And that's going to better, be better for our team. And from top to bottom, we guys have bought into that and um, we're just doing it collectively and, each individual knows each other's role and what they have to do to be exceptional in their role. Um, so that's a, a huge part of our success. Last question, Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Hey, James, following the successful road trip, you'll have a chance to play Tuesday before fans at Barclays Center. I'm just wondering how special it's going to be, <laughs> how meaningful it is. I mean, it's going to be small, but it's still a start. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm excited. I mean, that's one of the reasons why. Um, I wanted to, you know, be, you know, in Brooklyn is because of the fan base. Uh, they're unbelievable. Um, you know, they know the game of basketball and they're like you know, true, true fans. And, and obviously it's only, you know, I can't know the percent, but it's, it's not, obviously it's going to be packed, but just to have some excitement, some extra energy in, in, in the crowd is going to be, uh, it's going to be excited for obviously the entire team. So we can't wait. Uh, it's been a long road trip, a very good road trip. And uh, now we, now we got to get home and um, have some fun.